on a special journey following seven endangered Takahe chicks on a voyage from the relative safety of their offshore islands to their first steps into the wild. Let's join these flightless Takahe as they take to the air on their way to Takahe training camp. Standing in a stranger's room With strangest things all around me Hello, how are you? Doing well? Turn the These two chicks, they come from Tūtū Matangi Island and we're flying them down to the Burwood Breeding Centre and we'll, they'll be meeting up with four other chicks from the um, other islands around the Wellington area. Once they get to Burwood, they'll be fostered with some other parents where they, these foster parents will be teaching them how to eat the local grasses down there, as well as they'll be getting acclimatised to their uh, new environment down there, where it's much colder than it is up in the Auckland region. So we're walking out to Red Rock on an April Sunday. Past the man fixing his car. Past the woman with the baby. And there's a strip of skyline. So how does it work? They're not coming right out into the wild today. What's, what's the story here when they get to Berwood? Uh, we foster them onto new parents. So they came away from their old parents this morning, onto new ones tonight. And they will teach them the skills needed to be able to migrate around in the snow and also find food in that environment. How do the, the new parents know to look after these chicks that have arrived today and what, what kinds of things do they teach them? Well they've just got really good instincts and we can just give them new chicks um, and if they haven't seen any for a few days they're just really willing to take them on. Um, they'll teach them how to eat tussock because all these chicks on the offshore islands have been eating English grasses. Alrighty, so this is the spot, this is it. Gosh, the, the big end to the big day. Okay, so we'll lean this forward. Yep. From Terry. Hey. Oh, ooh, wow. That was quite an exit. <laughs> I think he's very happy to be awesome. here. <laughs> That's great. What's so special about the Murchison Mountains for this population? It's basically where the core population is found and where they were rediscovered as well. So it's quite a good historic site. And they do do really well in there. But we had huge losses due to a stoat plague in the Murchison Mountains last summer. So what's been put in place since then? Um, we've been given money to uh, have a trapping extension and trap the entire Murchison Mountain range, whereas before we only uh, trapped about 15,000 hectares. So now we've upped that to 50,000 hectares. Here comes the Takahe was only rediscovered in 1948 and 60 years on they remain one of our rarest birds. Thanks to high flyers like today's Takahe chicks, the wild population can once again roam the Murchison Mountains in Fiordland. It comes to